Hey everybody, John5XR here. Welcome to my channel. I have with me right here, Renan, and behind me you can see is a Honda QR50. So that bike is pretty special because it's not offered in the US market. So I was lucky enough to come across that bike for a good price here in the US and we decided to uh, work on it and make it like a little project for Renan um, to have as a Pee race bike. So what we've done so far is basically clean the bike up and see what we needed to buy for it, did some research on what it was, and that was months and months and months ago. So now we're at the point where I either have to order all the parts from Australia to make it a uh, OEM restoration sort of project, or we just turn it into a race bike based on what we have. What do you think we should do? Yeah. Yeah, well tell the camera. Do you think we should make it a race bike or should we make it an OEM restoration project? Uh, race bike. Yeah, you want to make it a race bike? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Alright, so that's a good thing because that means we don't have to order all the stuff from Australia to make it a factory fresh rebuild. So that means we can do whatever we want to it and just get it up and running and try to make it fast and a good track bike. What we need to do is just kind of go through the bike, maybe pull the car no, it's off. Fastest Honda in the world MXGP. Fastest Honda in the world MXGP? Yeah. That's the name of your project? Yeah. Okay, so let's get working on project Fastest Honda in the world MXGP. Yeah. By taking the carburetor off. Yeah. We're going to clean it up. Yeah. And then basically just see if we can get it running with yeah. premixing the fuel because the yeah. automatic oil injection system has. Yeah been bypassed already so that was yeah. part of the system that I need to order from Australia Yeah. so since we don't need to order that yeah. then we can just try to get it running Yeah. and then see how it is Yeah. alright so let's dig in you wanna work on it? Yeah. alright let's go Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is get to the carburetor. So show us where the carburetor is. It's over a little bit more. That shiny thing right there. So we have to get to that carburetor, take it off, and we're going to clean yeah. it. Yeah. So I guess we got to get the body off first, right? Yeah. The plastics.
Okay, you ready to get the carburetor back in? Yes! Okay. So, first thing we're gonna do. Yeah. That air box looks pretty oily, so let's okay. clean that out here. You hold the carburetor. Okay. Don't drop it. And I'll clean this out. We'll see what happens. Maybe this will just be a quick fix and we can get up and running, right? Yeah. Okay, so, yep, that's right. Let's put it in here. Put it in the hose. Yeah. Push the hose on. Right, you stay on that side. Push the hose on. Nope, the uh, box, I mean. Good. Put the gas hose on. Yep, you're right. I'll help you. It's a little hard. Here, let's put this spacer in. You gotta make sure that O ring. It's not facing the other O-ring. And then we put this in. And then we put the other one in. Are you playing drums or are you working on bikes? Working on bike. Okay. Well here. It's almost time to tighten these. You wanna tighten them? Yeah. Turn it that way. Turn it. It's done. Nope, it's not. It's Try this one. What one? This one right here. Okay, it's time to use the wrench. Okay. Push it up. Pull it under there. Should be good. Now, last step. What? Yep. Put the throttle slide in there. Okay. Hold I'm on. Do it. Wait, it's got to go in a certain way. Okay. Now you can tighten up this little ring. Can you tighten up that ring? Okay, so we got the QR50 uh, taken apart, we cleaned the carb, and we put it all back together. The carb was really oily, as you can see. It had a lot of two-stroke oil in it, so that means, um, you know, it was really rich, over overmixed, so too much oil in the mixture. So we cleaned the carb, right? Yeah. Yeah. You took the carb out, you helped yeah. me. And you helped, yeah. You, yeah, Callum came to help a little bit later. And so we put the car back in. We put the right mixture of fuel back in. And we got it. It started up, but it was too rich, right? Yeah. So I noticed that the main jet in the car when I was cleaning it was pretty big. I could see light through it, which isn't too normal for a little bike like that. So it probably means that the wrong jet or the secondary jet's missing in it. So we'll need to get a carb rebuild kit and get the right jet in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but it was a fun project so far. And we'll just keep going on it, right? Yeah. All right. So tell everybody thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Make sure to subscribe. All right. See you next time. See you next time. Say bye. Bye. Do that. Do that.